Hi everyone, Brad Drew here. I've got some things to share with you today that I've just have had so much fun with. It's uh, really blowing my mind to see how this works. Um, I've been a fan of Luminar tools for years now. Um, well, Skylum tools. Back in the day, Aurora was uh, was one I used. Um, and then over the years, there's been Luminar 4, Luminar AI. And s since last year, they've evolved to Luminar Neo. And from everything that that that, that they're briefing us on right now, uh, Luminar Neo is here to stay. It is the uh, um, platform that they are going to continue to add new things to. So I'm uh, really excited about what they're doing. Um, I'm already using it today to do things like remove dust spots from images made in the Palouse or um, stack uh, photo stack images, um, combine um, uh, images to create panoramas. So there's a lot of, uh, of capability in the tool already, and there's more to come. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. I want to share with you a few of the things that we can expect to see from Luminar between now and the end of the year. Um, so, some of those I haven't seen or played with, but one of them, uh, the Studio Light tool is uh, out as a beta, and they've shared uh, a a beta, I have a beta copy of it and I've been able to work with it and play with it. This tool is going to come out and be available August 31st. But many of these tools right now, they're offering a uh, an early bird uh, sale price on these and they'll make them available as they um, as they complete them and roll them out. Um, the pricing's, I think, among the fairest of any uh, software I've used out there. You can you can get a one time purchase price. Uh, for everything, uh, you can or you can subscribe to, to smaller components of it. Um, it's very competitively priced, and I really like the people um, on the Luminar uh, team. Um, this is—I don't know if you're aware of this—but uh, they are based uh, in the Ukraine, and so they've been um, they've been managing to continue production and continue to work on everything they're doing in spite of what's happening in the country. Um, so, really, kind of cool. Um, it's a young team. They're they're exciting to to work with, um, and I love what they're creating. So, what I want to show you today, I'm going to start by showing you, just taking you out to their website. So, let me just switch my my screen here. And so, what we're looking at right now, let me just go down to this one. These are I've got to slide to the beginning here. Um, the the ones that are uh, that are coming out. These are all eventually coming. The ones that are on deck to be coming out soon and between now and the end of the year, um, there's something called Gen Erase. So if you have a an image like this where you've you've got something blocking part of the scene, um, using this tool, it will remove that distraction and complete the scene in a way that that actually works. Um, Another one that's coming is called Scene Expand, which allows you to take a portrait that you have and you can expand it to fill the frame and, and, and it, it intelligently expands the frame using, um, using AI. Um, very cool stuff. The other thing here is called Scene Swap. And <laughs> this one, I again, I haven't played with these. I'm dying to because I'm really eager to see how this is going to work. But look at this. I slot, you can swap out parts of a scene. Um, in this case, the woman's uh, the woman's dress. I mean, really neat. Um, I'm going to skip over Studio Light because that's the one I'm actually going to demonstrate for you today. A couple others here. There's Neon Glow, which allows you to take an image and add a neon glow to elements of it. Um, there's this one called Water Enhancer um, that lets you color the water. Um, in this case, you've got a, a river that um, you're able to change the color of it to be more um, complementary to that scene and the color around it. Um, the The other one here is called Enhance, which is just to look at how it affects the dynamic range here as you slide back and forth. Um, a few others here. There's um, this one here is coming. That This one blows my mind. This is called uh, Mess Free Erase. It it's a masking to to it just look at that it takes the, the unwanted elements out of your image um and again i have not played with these but i'm eager to and from what everything else that i've seen that they've produced i'm really excited about um what they have what they have coming down the pike um here's replacing a background turning it into a very dreamy bouquet effect um so all of these things are coming 
uh, many of them by the end of the year. And they're they're offering a early bird purchase price right now. I also have a in addition to the the sale that they have going on, uh, I also have an affiliate code. It's just simply Rad Ten, and you'll get the sale price and an additional ten percent off on the initial purchase. So uh, it's kind of a um, a good um, discount. It's a win win. It helps me, and it's a good uh, discount for you. So, uh, if you choose to purchase, I do appreciate that. I, I hope you'll use the links that I provide in the video uh, description. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to switch my screen here and pull up Luminar. Yeah. So, what I'd like to do. So, I'm in Luminar Neo right now. And I've got some images queued up here. Um, some of these are, well, actually, all of these are iPhone images that I made on various trips in the last year to Cuba. Um, dancers and uh, some a man in the street and so on. What I'm going to do is let's pick this one right here. And actually, let me go in here and I'm going to switch to edit. And I'm going to delete. I've already done some studio lineups. I'm going to delete it. So this is our original image. Now, this also is an iPhone portrait mode image. So I've already have a shallow depth of field from the iPhone. And I've done a few things in Neo. They have a great portrait editor here that lets you um, do things with the face and the skin and the eyes. And so I did a few things to accentuate this uh, dancer's eyes and so on. But what I want to show you now is studio light. This is it right, excuse me, right here. And I'm going to click on Studio Light, and it brings up a panel of sliders. The first thing I'm going to do uh, with Studio Light is to come down and drop my exposure of the image overall. Because what I'm going to be doing is, is adding um, studio lighting to this. And I want that studio lighting to be in contrast to what we already see there. So, in fact, I might even take it down just a tad more. So next, I'm going to go up here to where it says Amount. And I'm just going to slide this across and look at as I slide it and increase it, you can see the light appearing on her face. Well, down here, you've got all these different sliders that you can adjust things with. So I have right now selected a dot pattern, but you can also select strips. So there's a strip pattern. You see a different, uh, a different pattern on her face. I kind of like the dots. So I'm going to go back to that. But then you can drop the scale down and make them smaller. So you can bring it, bring it down to where, you know, it's it, it looks something, you know, like that. And then you can move the depth, the, the depth center by sliding this around. And I'm not sure I like that. So I'm going to go and maybe increase that a little or and bring it down a little bit something like that. And then you can choose um, the angle of how the light is playing on her on her face too. You can change it vertically and horizontally. I kind of want to change, I kind of like that a little bit. And um, you can change the depth of it by, it basically increases the brightness of the um, studio light um, and gives it a th more three-dimensional effect, something like that. Um, and then the other cool thing with this, you've got a, a red, green, and blue slider here. So you can introduce color to that if you want to. Um, so you've got, you can go from green here to, uh, to magenta or red. You can go from, you've got a green slider here for green or back to, uh, I guess that's more magenta. And so you can add color to the lighting. I kind of like a touch of of yellow and that maybe that's too much just bring it down a little bit kind of picks up the yellow in the background and now um there's our there's our image and we could we could call it a day but you know as i look at this i really like how this is playing on her face but it's too intense for me down here in the um uh fan. So what I'm going to do, all of this, the, the features in Luminar, including Studio Light, have a masking component. So I'm going to tap on masking. And I think for this, um, I'm going to choose a, I'll choose a linear gradient. And I'm going to start up here in the corner, and I'm just going to drag that linear gradient down. And what I'm telling it to do here is to put the um, the studio light 
on this part of the image and gradually fade it out down here. So let's just go back and look at this. So now, now it's really intense on her face. We still see it down here, but it's less intense. So it's less distracting, um, you know, as far as visually. Um, and that's it. How, how easy is that? I mean, it's so much fun. It's very easy to work with. You can use it as a standalone. You can also plug into um, uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. Um, I've used it both ways, but I kind of like it as a standalone. Um, let's go do one more here or another one. Um, I'm going to go back to the catalog and let's grab, um, let's see, let's get this one. And once again, I'm going to go back in here. I've already uh, done some edits to this. So I'm going to throw those away and come back here. So now there's our image, again, an iPhone image done in portrait mode on the iPhone, drop the background out using that editor there. And then I use some of these um, portrait tools to um, work on her eyes and face and just enhance those a little bit. But then I'm going to come up here to studio light. Again, I'm going to drop the exposure down a little bit and um, come up here and bring my amount up. And wow, look at that. And now I can um, I can take the depth center here and I can move that around kind of like it maybe right there and then I can drop my the scale of it down and make it smaller look at that you can highlight move it to where it's just highlighting her eye and her face and you've got uh, her arm and her body here all highlighted with the studio lighting and we you know no expensive uh lights or filters or things like that um just all within the, the tool here um, that's it. I'm going to call it a day. Um, and let's do, I'll do one more. I'll go ahead and switch back out here to the catalog. Um, and let's go ahead and do this one, uh, of the old man from Cuba. And again, I'm going to go here and remove that studio light that I've already done. And we'll come back here to tools. And again, this is an iPhone image made in the, uh, portrait mode in the iPhone has that very shallow depth of field with the blurred background. Uh, already there. And now I want to play around with some studio light. So I'm going to come up here, select studio light. I'll come down, drop the exposure down again, because I want the, the lights to really show up. I'm going to bring up the lights here. And that's starting to look pretty darn good. Um, I, I don't know that I want to add any color here, but I could. Um, I'm not sure you know, sometimes it's fun to just play around and see if there's something that, that floats your boat or that works well for you. Um, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to drop this down a little bit, uh, make it a little smaller. And we have dots selected, but let's see what happens if we select stripes. Whoa, his beard is really striped up, isn't it? Well, there's a way to mitigate that a little bit. So first of all, I think I'll switch back to stripes or to dots. And what I like happening here, I like the way the light is on his face and even down here on his shirt, but I don't like what it's done in his beard. Well, that's where masking comes in again. I'm going to go ahead and click on masking here. This time I'll grab a brush and I want to erase that effect. So I'll click erase and I'll just come over here. I could probably make my brush a little bigger and I'm just going to paint in or paint away actually, erase. Um, but you know what? I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo that. Let's come back. Let's try this again. Um, I'll go to adjustment, drop my exposure down. I'll tell you what, in a minute, what I was, what I did that I didn't want to do. I'm going to come back up here and add the light. I'm going to drop that down and make it smaller and something like that. So now I want to mask this beard because it's too intense. But what I didn't do that I wanted to say here before, when I choose my brush and I choose erase, I don't want to erase 100% of the, what's going on in this beard, but I want to uh, you know, make it less intense. So I'm going to drop this down to maybe 40% or something. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint this area. Probably have a bigger brush for this, but um, I'm going to paint this area. And so I'm, I'm, we're still going to see the effects of the light, but they're not going to be quite as prominent. So there we go. So now there's our image. 
Um, there's before and there's after. It adds just a little element of uh, interest, I think, to the portrait. Um, by masking, we've taken out some of that distracting uh, part down there. And that's it. I mean, it's so easy to do. Um, it's very powerful. And this is true of all of the, the features of Luminar Neo. Many of these tools are, they're extremely powerful. It works with raw files. You have a develop mode here where you can uh, work with uh, the raw, raw files you bring in um, to, you know, to do all your light adjustment, your white balance and, and you know, uh, uh, and, and black and all of those things are there. And then you have enhancements, a great um, uh, erase tool, uh, all of these other things, black and white. Um, there's a denoise function. All of these things are, are really simple to use and yet very, very powerful. Um, so uh, I hope this has been a piqued your interest a little bit. And um, as these new products come out, um, I'll be eager to, I'm sure they will share a, a beta copy uh, with us. And um, as soon as I have betas, I will do more demos to show you what these other features can do. Um, and I look forward to um to sharing more of this with you uh, throughout the fall. So um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you uh, do decide to make a purchase, take advantage of the early bird sale, please use the link in the description and use my code RAD10 for an additional 10% off. Thanks a lot for being here. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having a great summer and I'll see you next time. Until then, keep on creating.